guys, good morning. So it's September 19th and I'm at the coffee machine making my coffee per usual. So uh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do anything on Monday. I was actually really tired and it was like super dark when I got up because uh, we got rain. It was just really, really dark. So I decided to kind of like sleep in. I sleep slept in a little bit today, but you know, I need to get some work done. So part of me is dreading going outside because yesterday I was going to take the dog out for a walk. I think it was like afternoon. And there was this big old snake like right down when you walked into the <laughs> parterre garden. And it kind of took me a little bit to register what I was seeing because it was kind of like parallel to like the black edging. And it was like, wait, you know, like you see two black things like, okay, am I seeing double? So anyway, um, I was wearing sneakers, so I'm like, I gotta go get some boots. So I was gonna get, I was trying to find my shovel and I wasn't gone long, but it, it was, it was gone by the time I got there. I don't know where it went. So, um, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna be wearing my boots. <laughs> and I, I typically wear boots in gardening, but they're really heavy, so they kind of weigh my legs down, but, um, I'm just going to be doing it because if I'm stepping places, I don't want it, you know, biting, you know, lashing out at my ankles or anything and that sort of thing. So, um, I now have a shovel right by the front door, so I'm prepared at this point. Uh, so I'm a little, so I'm not really sure what that means. It could be that it's looking for food and there's food sources in my garden which you know could be i've seen some frogs and that sort of thing which i know uh they will eat and you know some baby rabbits which i think they'll also eat too uh but i also don't know if it's trying to shed because it was big it was probably a good four feet long and you know if they shed in your basement one time and i've had an you know issue snakes getting in the basement they'll continue to come back now this year no snake shed in my basement and it looks like we found where they were cut getting in we sealed it um so i guess i'll know thursday because the guy's coming back <laughs> to check the tracks and i'll tell him hey by the way i saw a snake so you know look in the rafters too because they like to hide in the rafters so anyway If he checks the entire basement and doesn't see anything down there, uh, then that could be a good thing. That means that I mean, he may have come back to shed, but if he can't get into the basement. And I'm hoping that's the case because they haven't been finding. Uh, once they sealed it off, they haven't, we haven't, there haven't been any down there. So it's just, <laughs> it's just something. So. I'm gonna take you guys outside. I'm gonna show you guys where the, I put the roses. Um, I did take the um, the obelisk over there. They look really good. And so now I gotta just start digging the holes to put that stuff in there. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited. Uh, I had this weird dream that I was buying all these David Austin roses. And the weird thing is, cause the weird thing was that some of these David Austin roses names, like they don't actually exist. I don't, I was like, my mind was just like making up all kinds of names. Uh, but yeah, so I ordered, I actually found a rose at, um, when I was shopping on Saturday. I, I'll have to show that to you guys when I get outside. It's called Romantica Moonlight. And so it's it's a cut a rose for cutting. Um, I found it at what's the name of that place? Um, Marazano, Marazos, yeah, Marazos over in. Um, I guess that's considered to be New Hope, not New Hope. Is that New Hope? I think it might be Newtown, PA. I'll have to look up the thing. But uh, they were having they had their roses for fifty percent off. And when I saw that one, I was like, oh, I saw that one on Heirloom Roses. So that's why. You know, that's why I got it. There's another one that's white with green at the base. And I also would like to add that one to my collection too. Uh, so um, I got some key lime um, garden mums. I'm going to plant those in the green section. And uh, and yeah, so hang on, let me put this back. So with the rose garden, I've been on this real kick of 
purple roses and I don't know like once I kind of get into a color it's like I have to like get you know there's other colors out there that I like but um I've gotten a good start on the lavender on the purple roses so I think I can go to a different color I just you know I want things to be done now but you know I know I could take a little bit of time with the process so um, but I'm really excited about the whole thing. Um, I think those roses are going to look really nice. Uh, there's this one rose that I want, and I was too slow with heirloom roses. When they announced their sale, I waited a day, and I shouldn't have. Uh, so there was this one I was planning to get. It was called Purple Tiger. That was purple and white stripes. Because I was going to put that in a section with the Sunbelt plums. And because it's a deeper purple, kind of burgundy. And it's got the white in it. And I thought it would be an interesting contrast. And of course, it was sold out by the time I got there. And I was like, Brooke, you should have been quicker. And right now, every other place that sells it is also sold out. So... Uh, so probably tonight I'm going to work on um, posting the video, editing and posting the video of when I toured the Morris Arboretum. Uh, it was really, it was really nice looking at back at the videos that um, that I took of of the, our meetup in June. Um, it was, I know some things like when you're in the moment. I guess, you know, the sounds are registering, like the people are talking, but it wasn't until I went back and saw the videos that I realized just how much chattering we were doing the whole time. And I was like, man, we were like talking our, we were talking each other's ear off the whole time about plants. And it was absolutely great. Um, so, but this one's gonna be fun because when we went to see the Rose Garden, I have seen, uh, I think, was it Stephanie or Morgan posted a clip earlier on Instagram about saying, walking into the Rose Garden, and all of us are like, you know, vlogging it, so we all have our cameras up, but it was a lot, it was a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time in that Rose Garden. Um, I mean, the, the one at Longwood, don't get me wrong, is nice, but the one at Ar Morris Arboretum, and that's kind of where I took, I think, the most of my um, inspiration from, uh, because I liked the fact that um, they didn't have so many, they had a lot of cultivars in there. Um, they seem to take more of a specimen approach, whereas with Longwood, they have, they have a number of different types, but they had a lot of grouping of the same, um, roses. So, so yeah, so, all right, so I got my coffee. Let me go get a sweatshirt because right now the temperature is like 58 degrees <laughs> and then it's time to go out. It's going to be cooler today. It looks like the temperature is going to be uh, highs gonna be 74. So, and I think, I think it's maybe tomorrow I'm getting my, um, my, uh, chimney cleaned out my, uh, wood burning stove. Um, cause the house is going to start, especially cause the temperature is not going to get high during the day. The temperature of the house is going to come down but I don't want to turn my heat on. <laughs> so um, when I can use the wood burning stove, especially when it's not really overly cold, that wood burning stove will actually, it will actually heat up the entire downstairs. So anyway, let's go outside. Okay guys, so going into the garden, I've got my gloves and I got my, my boots on. Um, I saw a rabbit running through the garden. So I don't know if it was being chased by something. That was a little weird, but, um, you know, I'm just looking carefully. And you know what? People need to make garden hoses different colors than black because I'm having a slight heart attack every time I see a hose. Okay, so let me turn the camera around. Okay, so we'll walk this way today because I always walk the other way. Okay, so first off, this grass is flattening, is dying really well. Uh, that end is dying. These other sections, I'm just going to have to mow down and then cover up. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw the black hose, and I'm just <laughs> making sure I see where this thing ends. <laughs> Y'all, I hate snakes. Anywho. Okay, so... 
uh, I'm sure you guys can see the metal structure right there. Uh, that is the obelisk I got from Living Earth New Hope. Uh, they had two, so I got that one, and I did that one. Now that one's on a slope, but you know, I was wondering if it was gonna try, it was gonna look lopsided when I put it in, but actually it's not. It's actually looking, it's actually very, very level. So uh, now I gotta worry about planting these things. So the plants that I got from Antique Rose Emporium, the roses, I mean, um, they are leafed out. They were kind of already leafed out, but we've been getting rain and it's been kind of cool. So they're acclimating very, very well, you know? And actually, oh, let's see, that's Blue Girl. Blue Girl is finally starting to leaf out. Um, oh, and I see the Japanese anemones are starting some of them are starting to send up flower pods that's nice and oh yeah and that's lager fowls that's all nicely le leafed out um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um i'm gonna plant that one in the middle so i'm gonna take this out and i'm just gonna clear the the uh clear the wood chips away and dig a hole and put that there and hopefully and that should work and then I can't plant that one yet because I still need to measure. Um, I'm just kind of wondering, do, though, do I really need to have these things be equidistant or is it okay that they're off slightly? Because if they can, if they will look okay off slightly, then maybe I don't have to. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if I can move back to get everything in the picture. So now this one definitely is further up. But you know what? I'm not. I have to say, like, it doesn't. The asymmetry really isn't bothering me though. Because the thing is, it's not like these two beds are identical. I mean, obviously they've got completely different shapes. So you know what, guys? I think I actually just might leave it. I don't think it looks bad. I really don't think it looks bad at all. I mean, seeing how this entire, you know, this entire section is not symmetrical. I don't know. It doesn't. I see the thing is from this angle, then they kind of look almost equidistant. But you, you know what? Once I finish planting this up, because there's gonna be like a slight rise there, it's just, it's gonna look different. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it where it is. I may have to push it a little bit back, back further. Oh, you know what? I don't have to push it back because that's a fright, I forgot. I'm moving this path over, so that should be fine. So, okay, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave it that way. So, but let me set up, let me see if I can get this one rose in. Um, I gotta find my, uh, my other shovel though. It's got the sharper edge. Oh, I see it, it's over there. So, um, I will check in with you guys in a minute.
Okay guys, so got all four roses in and I got those set up. So I'm just embracing the asymmetry here. Um, so it's been raining, so I didn't water them in because we've been getting a lot of rain. But right now the sun is a little harsh, so I'm gonna wait until the sun moves before I come out and give you guys a final tour and final look. Uh, but now, um, I think this evening, I'm gonna first off clean up that mess and then work on putting the edging around this circle <clears throat> section so <sighs> I can do the next thing because I've got more stones to put down. Actually, I might plant those hydrangeas too. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I put the edging in. Whew, that was an odyssey. Uh, so I actually ended up, I, what I did is I used the half moon edger to make my thing and then I actually had to use the trenching shovel to, to kind of dig it out and put it in there because the way they were telling you to get it in here, it just wasn't working. So anyway, I'll meet this up tomorrow, uh, but this is in. So now, I'm um, now when it's time for me to mow the lawn and edge, I can just use this whole thing right here. Um, as a guide and so what I may actually do is put some of those stones behind it you know to kind of have to make that circle so it's circular more or less I would say more more than more or less though <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna head on in tonight so I'll see you guys tomorrow